Hi everybody, welcome to Mark Bayersky Crystal Channel. It's a great day to talk about one of the most beautiful crystals in the world. Many, many people talk about this crystal from all walks of life. Even people who don't even believe in the energy of crystals. They wear them, they love them, they don't know why, but this crystal, above all crystals, is one that I've always felt has always saved me at times when I feel the need to strengthen my energy, strengthen my life, strengthen my spiritual connection, to feel more at balance and peace. It's a very, very powerful crystal that helps us in so many different aspects. That's why it's probably one of the most famous crystals and most people know this crystal, whether you're, you're into crystals or not. And that is the most beautiful crystal amethyst. It really is a beautiful crystal. I don't talk about it enough. Uh, I've used it for many, many years on many clients and it's kind of the crystal that doesn't let you down. It really performs to a high level and it vibrates a great energy. It really does. Uh, I've just been working on a few as of late. Uh, I, I thought I'd just get these out from my website and just show you a few of them. Uh, I'm showing you different ones here from different areas so as you can see there's lighter and there's more a denser darker and more vibrant color in these can you see and when you look into them you can see the quality is extremely high it's very very beautiful um, again slightly different in color but still very very beautiful Okay, so and this is, you know, I always have this around. I love this one. This is very high quality in amethyst, as you can see. And you can see the change in color, not because of the sculpture itself, but actually the change in formation. So you can see the top is slightly lighter uh, and more uh, transparent. You can see through that a little bit more. And then it goes down and it's a bit more denser then to, to the base. Isn't that gorgeous? The, just the feel of it is incredible. So um, let's talk about this beautiful crystal, shall we? Let's talk about it. Um, I guess when I first started off on the, the healing path, amethyst was given to me by many people as a gift. And I instantly was drawn to it because of the feel. And the feel to me whenever I touch an amethyst is very uplifting. It, it doesn't make me feel down. I don't feel uh, hurt. I don't feel sad. There's no emotion there of, of real sadness, but there is an almost connection feeling. I feel more connected. I feel more, I don't know, more aware of, of myself, but not in a negative. Some crystals make you feel aware of the negative that needs to be fixed and healed. Some crystals make you feel sad and bring out a lot of sadness and release, you know? And then some crystals just kind of give you this kind of power energy. It feels like you feel, okay, I'm more aware. I feel, I feel more, I'm more in my senses. I'm more, yeah, more powerful. And I guess that's what it is really. And when you think about that, it makes sense. Amethyst is there to help you connect. So if you're more aware, then you're gonna connect far more easy. So amethyst to me has always been a crystal that helped me as a beginner. It was a great beginning crystal. And if you wanna gift a crystal to somebody, if you wanna start the path of awakening, understanding, um, spiritual connection. If you want to start a path of learning how to read the tarot card, for instance, or angel cards, if you feel that you'd like to uh, step into the world of the world of mediumship, clairvoyant, clairaudient, all of those kind of energy works, this crystal is a great starting crystal. It certainly brings you to a great place when you're meditating before you start or just clearing your energy, just wanting to breathe properly. Um, any kind of form of yoga, um, mantras, it's a great crystal to wear for that. If you are beginning your healing practice, if you're saying, okay, I'm gonna to start to practice how to heal, a great crystal for that as well. So uh, you, you're kind of getting what I'm saying now. This crystal is overall a very, very powerful crystal for the psychic experience. It really does take you to a different level of awareness. 
So from that moment on, when I started being gifted this crystal, I started working with it and noticed some very uh, valuable um, information that I'm going to share with you. Things that were happening to me on a, a regular basis when I was wearing it. One of the things that I found fascinating is my connection to my client. So while I was sat there, if I had, um, uh, say, a piece around my neck, while I'm sat with my client, I could feel my client much more. I could feel what was happening in their energy, their vibration, if they were feeling ill, if they had a pain in their head, or how, how they were feeling emotionally. So I found when I wore this crystal, it, the awareness that I speak of helped me not only connect to my own awareness, but to other people. This is why I'm saying it's a really powerful crystal. I think one of the most important um, aspects of amethyst that I noticed over the years that I worked with it is that when you work with this crystal with another crystal, I always find I always found that the feeling I got was it wasn't kind of like an amplification feeling of another crystal. It felt like the amethyst was doing its job. And I'll give you a for instance, I wore um, a black tourmaline at the same time. And I'm trying to remember one particular lady where I had both crystals on and I laid them on her and she was going through um, grief, a grief process of just losing her husband. And it was not very nice because it, it was very fresh. I think her husband only died four or five days before, but she really needed to let go of this grief. So I remember laying, uh, actually what happened first is as I was giving her the healing session, I instinctively took off the black tourmaline because it's amazing for grief. So I laid that on her heart and I took one of her hands and put it on her heart. And as she cried, the amethyst started vibrating on my chest and I could feel the connection of her heart, her grief and of her husband. So as I was, as I laid my hand on her heart, I took my other hand uh, on the amethyst and I was feeding information to her heart on a psychic level. So I could feel her husband next to me and he was just speaking to me. And at one time I didn't have the courage to speak. And now obviously I do, but I stopped doing the work. But um, I think one of my last healing sessions, I actually spoke to this lady and she said, oh my God, that's what my husband used to say. And I'm saying that it's because he's here and he's with you and never forget this and always remember he's always by your side. At this point, I, I didn't have the courage to do that because it was only like three years into it. So I was still just working on this level. I could feel her husband love and comfort. And I was speaking to her heart through the, the, the energy of the crystal that was giving me this information, heightening my awareness. And as I placed my hand on top of her hand, while she was healing the grief from the black tourmaline, she was being fed information. So not only was she crying, but when she'd finished, when we finished after that one hour, she got up and she said, he was here, wasn't he? And I said, yes. And she said, I felt him. So everything that I was feeling and and I believe what was passing through my my heart, my hands into her was information of love, kindness, but lots of other things, telling her not to worry about a certain member of family and blah, 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 blah. And, and when she got up, she was then repeating to me the information that I was receiving. So she had her answers to what was an awful situation of a will. And unfortunately, this is what happens. Uh, some time to time and she got the information that she needed and she knew what she needed to do she explained certain things to me but I didn't really want to know I just I just gave her a hug and I said I'm sure now after this healing session you will you will know exactly what you need to do she stood up with great strength I took the uh, amethyst off my neck I placed both crystals onto her and said this is a gift from your beautiful husband and that was a very powerful moment in my life that I realized that these two crystals worked extremely well. I think what I want to say is that when you start to realize two crystals when they work together and they have a profound effect in certain situations, then you realize uh, how important they are. 
And from that moment on, if anybody ever came to me with grief, I would already have both crystals on uh, without even realizing who my next client was. So it's almost like I'm sticking crystals on, not knowing that the spirit world guides us to wearing what crystal we need. And I guess ultimately, um, amethyst is a beautiful crystal to wear with other crystals, especially at times when we need a certain helping hand. So I hope that helps you a little bit with the understanding of, of grief, as well as the understanding of spiritual connection, as well as the understanding of your spiritual awareness. So what does this crystal do? Um, amethyst is a beautiful connector to the spirit world. And I believe it has um, the energy or the blasting of energy through the day that helps open you up. Some people talk about a certain part of the body, um, which is the um, uh, pineal gland. I believe it does much more than clear and, and strengthen that. I believe the whole core of your body from the crown right down to the, the feet, your feet, every single aspect of your, I call PowerPoint, is being illuminated, is being cleaned and being refreshed. So when you wear an amethyst, you feel more balanced, stronger, more powerful. You see things that you never saw before because your what you believe are called chakras are being cleansed and cleaned. And I believe that this is one of the most powerful crystals for that. One of the good things about amethyst, I'm going to put this one down and just take a piece that this one actually I was wearing uh, for the past couple of weeks. I often wear um, amethyst when I want to connect a little bit more. And there's certain points in my life that I'd like to just have more clarification. I want more um, answers. And sometimes by taking this crystal and taking some oil and a good oil to use with this one, believe it or not, I've noticed as of late is Moldavite oil. Rub uh, one drop of Moldavite oil, just one drop. You don't need three, you just need one drop. Okay, so just one little drop. Once that drops on, just rub it here. Just get comfortable and rub it here. So people talk about the third eye. It can be high or it can be low. So I normally go from my nose up to the top of my forehead and then I'll go across. Rub. And then what I'll do is I'll just hold my hand there, get, get this hand here comfortable on here, drop my head down and then do some breathing techniques of any sort. I do normally three, uh, three seconds in through the nose, hold for three seconds, release through the mouth for three seconds and repeat. I'll do that for about 10 or 15 minutes. Soon as I start getting a connection or some kind of positive thought or feeling about my situation, I then take the crystal away, hold it in my hand and then close my eyes and just simply be still. I don't try and think of anything. I just allow whatever to happen. And normally I get my information between that moment and the full day. A lot of people make the mistake, right? That when you work with a crystal like a Moldavite that you want instant um, understanding or instant feelings. You've got to understand that the crystal is working. And even when you've taken that crystal away, the energy that's being produced and what's happening now is the clearing to be able to help you see so you become more aware. And that can take a matter of minutes, seconds or hours and sometimes days. I had clients that I did a healing session on that said to me, please, Mark, I want to open up my um, third eye and I'll say, OK, well, I'll give it a go. Let's see what happens. So I'll start working with either, uh, I've got pointers up there, I like pointers. And um, obviously I'd probably work with um, either clear quartz or I'd, I'd work with a tiny piece of Moldavite and just stick it there and bless, blast the energy. Or I'd work with a beautiful uh, amethyst pointer and I'd be working on there. 
And then a day later, a client can say, oh, I didn't really feel anything. And then because I first started, I'd feel really bad and think, oh, well, you know, maybe you should come back again and let's let's give it a go. And, you know, obviously it'll be free of charge. Let's try again. And then four days later, they'd send me a message saying, I don't need to come back. Last night I fell asleep and had these vivid dreams and all of a sudden now it's like too much. And I'm saying, well, what do you want me to do? You asked for me to help you open it. I said, you know, well, I need it to not be so much. And I said, well, okay, come back again. Let's see what we can do. And then I'd, I'd work in a different way with a different crystal then to, to make it more gentle and then ease it away. So then I would uh, go for something extremely gentle like a rose quartz to bring balance and, and not so much of that energy of psychic, that connection to the spirit world. So sometimes you have to be careful for what you wish for as well. Um, so that's another point. On a final note, amethyst is um, a really beautiful crystal to help raise your vibration to the world, helps you see things clearly as well to what's going on around you. It can be quite a powerful crystal because when you're in, in the vicinity of family and friends, uh, sometimes it can really be quite hurtful because you can then pick up on your family and friends and how they're feeling. Uh, they might be feeling really bad and then you feel bad because you're becoming more heightenedly aware of the energy around. So be aware of that too. It heightens your energy to uh, people around you. People often say, when should you wear it? When shouldn't you? I always wear it when I, it feels right. But for me, if I'm going out in a big crowd of people and I know it can be a bit challenging, I wouldn't wear this. A lot of people disagree with me and say that because it's uh, amethyst, it protects you, it brings you angel blessings, you won't get affected. But, you know, I've worked with these crystals for 16 years. I know when I wear this crystal or work with it, I know what it does. And if it heightens your energy, it makes sense that you're going to feel heightenedly aware of things. And if there's lots of people around you not feeling good, you're going to feel that too. So it is an amplifier to your emotion and to feel other people's emotions. So for me, when anybody says, okay, Matt, I'm gonna buy a, um, an amethyst from you, when should I wear it? I would say, listen to your own intuition and always remember that if you're wearing a higher energy crystal, you should wear it really when you want to work in that kind of field of work. That, that's what I feel. Now, you come to a, a crystal like a, a Moldavite, you've got to be careful where you wear that sometimes because you can be really all over the place. So for me, I'm really careful with my Moldavite now. I'm, I'm like, oh, you, you can wear it anytime. Yeah, but you're going to be heightened to some really weird feelings and information and, and all that. So... I try and be, I, now I try and listen to my sen senses and think, okay, what's a good crystal to wear today? Where am I going? What am I doing? Um, do I need a certain feeling or a certain energy or a certain strength through my day? Do I need to become more aware today? Do I need to do this? And, and I have, a, a, obviously, a multitude of crystals. I'll feel for that crystal and sometimes I'll think about what I need it for. Most of the time, spirit always guides you to the right crystal. So again, there is points uh, of fact that I found that if I've got 100 crystals uh, at the front door and I want to wear a crystal on my way, uh, way out, sometimes I don't even give it a second thought. It just I just grab a crystal and put it on and trust in that day. And that is really the highest form of choosing a crystal, of course. But if you're working in the field of learning how to uh, work with crystals, if you're new to it and you're not really 100% sure, then it is a nice little stepping guide la guide mark to wearing crystals. Ask yourself, what does this crystal feel like when you hold it? What is it doing for you? How are you feeling? And is this going to work for you today? And I think that's a good, there's nothing wrong with that. That's called learning. But once you've overcome that and mastered all of that, then eventually what you'll do is you'll just fully believe that whatever crystal you grab will be the right crystal. And I often did this for many years as well. I, I often had like 30 or 40 crystals in front of me and then I'd do this with my hand and then just grab the first one and put it on. And that always worked because spirit is guiding your hand. You you, you know, that, that beautiful universal flow will that guide you to the right crystal. So if you're unsure about which crystal to wear, do that, try that, close your eyes, put a group of crystals there and just go down and grab one. 
I guess that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little um, 20 minute video on uh, Amethyst. I hope you enjoy the crystals wherever you buy them from, whether it's your local store. I always encourage you to go to your local store and not so much to buy on um, uh, Amazon and eBay because a lot of them are simply glass and fake crystals. There are more fake amethysts than you can be than you can imagine. I source them myself and make sure that they're the highest of quality. So on my website, I really like to have quite a few um, amethysts on there because people always feel comfortable and always feel safe and always know that it's one of the most powerful grounding crystals that really do help you become more aware of everything and feel really, yeah, I feel great, I feel good. And it's one of those high vibration crystals that you can be sure that if you give them to anybody, it's always going to make them feel good. Children, men, um, anybody, it's great. The other thing is I just want to mention about this crystal too. Um, a lot of people ask me, uh, are crystals good for animals? And they are, they're wonderful. But for me, whenever I'm uh, working with animals, it's because they're a little bit ill or poorly. So when I work with um, crystals, it's normally because the the little your little pet needs healing, okay? But I don't kind of give a, a, an animal, a, a, a doggy or a cat, a crystal just to wear all day long because their heightened energy vibration is so strong, their intuition is so strong. Uh, sometimes it can, it can mess them up, them up a little bit, I noticed. So what I say is that if your animal, uh, your little pet, your cat, your dog, whatever, is not feeling well, then um, it's good to give them a little bit of extra energy. So by giving them a crystal for that period of time where they're getting stronger and they're laying down and healing, then the crystal works. For me, That that's the perfect time to use a, a crystal on a, on a doggy. So that's my humble opinion. But a lot of people like to put crystals on animals and keep them on all the time, which that, that then if you see there's nothing wrong, then that's fine. But I did notice with my own two little um, doggies that, you know, they, they don't need it. That when they're happy and strong, they don't need a crystal, that they're fully aware and their senses are far, a thousand times greater than yours. So giving that influence to a, a, a dog, a cat, is, is can be too much, I believe. That's my whole heart. But, you know, it's not going to kill them or anything, but I just think that they're already on full alert. They're already sensitive. They already feel it's humanity that has to grow uh, to the to the energy of animals, which, you know, that's going to take some time, I'm sure. But we, we keep trying to grow to be as beautiful as our animals, full of love, full of compassion, um, always forgiving. You know, we need to learn that. We truly do. Anyway, guys, have a lovely day. Thank you for going to markbyerski.com and buying your genuine authentic crystals that I've worked on and I hope you love them as much as I loved working with them. Have a great day guys from my heart to yours. Take care. Thank you.